can remember being four years old and it was just part of my routine. Hi. That's a hard question because I feel like what memory of my childhood was Mr. Pickles not a part of? Everyone has a little tune in their heart. And if you listen closely, it always finds a way out. He was always my North Star during those days of just slamming apple juice and not knowing how to read. When I think of Mr. Pickles, I can feel the shag carpeting of my parents' living room under my feet. Mr. Pickles, man, he was like my eye of the tiger. Mornings with Mr. Pickles, I would start every day watching the kindest man in the world and eating a bowl of cereal that was just entirely void of any nutritional value. There's a profoundness to it. There's a universality, and we shared that. Let's take a trip to Pickle Barrel Falls. I get kind of like psyched just thinking about him hopping into that barrel and parachuting down a waterfall. And the craziest part was his hair never moved. You Can Feel was a good way for me to back down from wanting to sock Brendan Driscoll for stealing my pogs in second grade. And then, like 20 years later, he was my waiter at P.F. Chang's and neither of us said a word about the pogs. And then I gave him a huge tip because I'm a generous and forgiving person. Of course, I went all to Mr. Pickles. I get to school and we started to say our numbers and everyone else in my class said the numbers in the exact same voice. A one, a two, a three. <laughs> I mean, it just, it just hit me. We were all learning from Mr. Pickles. We still watch Mr. Pickles. <laughs> See you at the bottom.